Cookies. So that um, bakery, the, the gluten free place that we went to yesterday, Sunny Bread, Sunny Bread um, Phil decided to get a couple of cookies and a couple of cakes to take away. So he's having one of those for breakfast. What's the cinnamon, cinnamon oat. Cinnamon oat cookie. And I got some cookies from another bakery called Bella. And this is a peanut butter pretzel cookie. Look at the size of it, it's massive. The thickness. Cake. It's like a cake, it's crazy. That's so good, I love peanut butter. So, we're gonna enjoy our cookies and get packed up. And we might check out the fitness center up on the top floor, the 18th floor later on, especially to work off some of the calories from these cookies. All the way up to the 18th floor for possibly the highest work that we've ever done. Good workout. Certainly the most scenic workout I think we've ever done. Other than maybe running around the top deck of the ship out in the ocean. That was also very cool. So also on this top floor, there's a swimming pool. But it's an outdoor pool. And it's currently closed until the 1st of April. Yeah, it'll be iced up and iced over. street center of Seoul but the weather is not so great today it's getting us back used to Edinburgh rain weather for going home so we've ducked into a Starbucks and we're just sitting and admiring the view of all the shops and all the people walking about with their umbrellas to try mochi here. Nice dessert. Mm. Just rice and then chocolate? Cho uh, no, it's like a, I don't know, like date? 
Okay, and then kiwi. It's good. Oh, me. Some for me. Carrot cake, you like it? I don't like massive mall is like at least 12 story high it's huge they're starting with some miso soup and then i guess we choose something using the menu here huh. in airport terminal 2 it's kind of a really quiet place at night um so we came in like about 9 30 and uh, everything was closing up, like all the shops, all the restaurants, there was nowhere to buy food or drink. And we thought, oh, maybe we could like go to a lounge and just spend some time there. But even the lounge was closing at 10. So next to the lounge, there was kind of this napping area, which is kind of lie flat, recliner in kind of bed. Yeah, like so we managed to, you know, chill out there and sleep for a couple of hours. Um, and now we're off to go to our gate because our flight is boarding at four past midnight. But yeah, just be aware like, if you're here and you wanted to get some tea or drink, maybe do it before you come to security because otherwise you're stuck here and you can't eat or drink anything. It feels weird to be going home now after two months of traveling. It's the longest time we've traveled continuously since before the pandemic. And it was nice to be able to get out again and experience different places and you know live places for a longer period of time um, so yeah it'll be strange going home and getting back into a routine back to work Not for me for you I've been working <laughs> so yeah but yeah we'll have to start planning our next adventure we upgrade to the economy comfort. Four inches extra legroom and five inches extra recliner, which is good. Mainly because I can find the bed before back. Yeah. Being over the couch. Mm. And the blanket is fairly decent. The pillow is quite big. Yeah. This is what five inches of extra recline looks like. So, 14 hours and 10 minutes later, we've made it to Amsterdam. Yeah, I think that's the longest flight we've ever been on. <laughs> yeah, that was tough. But, um, your meals were good, and it's our first time in the Netherlands. It's being in the airport for a couple of hours. My troops, I have seen back in some of my friends. So we're leaving a snowy Netherlands for our last flight of this trip. Flight number 11. Short one and a half hour flight home to Edinburgh. 